it's Mac. We're back. This is part two of our learning the cranberries settling into Viking series. Today we're heading out. I say we, it's me and this character here, old Kenny. He was in a video in the past, maybe two actually. But uh, today we're going to head out and do some exploring for some lake trout on second cranberry. We're going to go around and do some sharpshooting with the live scopes. We got an arc lab live scope up there with the LVS 62 and we got another arc lab here with the LVS 62 so we are fully equipped ready to rock we're gonna get this puppy launch get out there and hopefully set some hooks do some searching and hopefully avoid some rocks it pump super slow said we are exploring new water today this is my first time actually fishing the cranberry lakes on my own the second part at least for lake trout so we'll see what we can find basically just gonna go around and try to sharpshoot fish on structure see there's some fish there those are lake trout there's two fish under the boat Right on the edge of this drop off here. Pretty main lake point. Just get ready with that net, Ken. <laughs> this had to have been lake trout. They vanished, man. Yeah, let's go pull, we'll pull out deeper and look. That's the beauty of running and gunning. When some, you lose some. Or you just don't win at all and then you got nothing to lose, you know what I'm saying? And then they start calling you Ken. <laughs> Get it, Ken. I'm not even shutting the motor off. It's already coming up to the boat. It's investigating the motor. It's gonna bite the prop. There's another one. Oh, dude, that one's already sees you. That one already sees you, I think. No. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. It's charging you, buddy. You don't see that? It's on you. Well, it's dropping. It's dropped off you. Oh, it's charging on me now. Oh, that's what. What it does. Come back to you. It's on you again. Slow drop this too, right? Yeah. I might have to put a tube jig on. No, I didn't think it would actually mark as many. <clears throat> oh, that one's coming to you quicker. That's still on you. Boom! Same size or smaller? Oh, uh, this, this one's big, a little bit bigger. Okay. It looked real light off the hook set. See you dropping past me there? Yeah. Double header here. I'm trying to. So trying to get down there in time. Show the camera your small improvement. Another little guy. Yeah, I'd really try to make it look big, Ken. You're going to need a <laughs> lot of camera angles. Oh, there's one coming in suspended here. Well, Lake Trot or Lake Trot at least. You know, it's still fun to get to chase like that. But this one's charging me. I don't know why I'm struggling to get them to commit. Do you want to stick it out for a bit? No, let's cruise around. Okay, keep looking. Obviously, we found the nursery over here. Yep. Let's try dropping on the bait wall and see what we see. That suspended one's pretty high and aggressive, I'd say. 
looks like it should be at least. It's coming for it already. Tee it up, Kenny. Too fast and you're too slow? I'm too fast for him. Oh. Interesting thought process. We'll see if these other little things start to engage or what they are. They, they look like they're moving a little bit. Usually if it's like whitefish or, or ciscos, they just don't even move, eh? They yeah. just sit still. Nothing but suckage can. Yep. I'll say it. The spot sucks. <laughs> All right, so we've moved from the main lake stuff. Now we're going to poke around some island structure here. We're just driving and cruising and scanning, see what we can see. Yeah, like the hard thing about Lakeshore right now, especially in the spring, is like you can't exclude them from being shallow, too, you know? Like you can't just think that you have to look and like. 70, 80 feet of water. No, I know. Because sometimes they can, like, like they can be stacked up in like 15 feet of water, you know? So nobody ever fishes that shallow for them. All right, so we've been struggling. We've been searching. We're finding some fish here and there, but nothing concentrated by any means. So we're going to make a bit of a run here and see if we can find some greener pastures. So we took a little break from trying to target lake trout. So we came and started casting for some shallow water walleye. And we're putting a hurting on him. Gonna get Ken his limit so he can feed the family. And then we're heading back for trout. Is yours a bit better, Ken? <laughs> Dude, look at the carnage. Ken's fish has seen some better days. A little bit of carnage on that one. All right, we are done walleye fishing. We're heading back for trout. This is what we were catching a lot of those walleye on, the little drop tine paddle tails. Put on a clinic, got Ken's feed, so we're going back for trout. Well, after scouring around all day, we definitely found activity here, whether they're lake trout or not, but there's piles and piles of bait fish here. And that was something we were definitely lacking everywhere else. Man, this is like the most life we've seen by far. Look at it all. Look at the 2D. Isn't that crazy? Yep. Drive around the lake all day. Like they have more piles of bait fish. Like tons. Dude. Let's see if anything even looks at this. Oh yeah. Oh. I'd say we found some fish, Ken. Lake trout. The lake trout. Dude, how crazy is that though? We drove literally all day looking <laughs> around the whole, like all the lake, like everything. Haven't even made it like 20 feet down yet. Got one, another one. Drove one up high. Oh, yeah. That's gonna get you. Boom. Oh, it. come on. That nah. was bad too. Stuck him that time. <laughs> Finally stuck him. We got a breacher. Finally connected after such a long midday lull there. these fish the cruising off that shallow stuff I think they must be there's two up high there's yeah. three up high it's all in the top third right now look at them oh, I thought I hit on the way down 
Oh, look at that ball. Cisco just got blown up by yeah. a fish. Dude, the amount of activity here, it makes sense why the rest of the lake was dead. Seriously. Like, there's literally just lake trout and bait fish everywhere here. There we go. There go. Dropped him. Like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot, baby. Lots of room for improvement on my end. Don't charge me. Took a swing at me there. Oh, bumped it and dropped it. Looks like it. What the heck? There's two, or three, or four. What the heck? Oh, there you go. Finally got him this time? <laughs> I, I can't believe I never stuck them before. Go oh, down and just charge you down heavy. Man, we're good at missing them, hey? <laughs> oh. Just catch a fish, dude. It's funny how we spent all day driving around looking for a quarter of this activity. Well, that's, that's how you find fish. Yeah, that's just part of the learning curve, you know, going and exploring. And working through all this stuff to find the stuff that's the diamond in the rut, you know? Diamond in the rough. <laughs> diamond yeah. in the ruts. <laughs> Trying to be all poetic and stuff, can't even talk. Here he is. Got him that time finally, dude. Took you like 12 tries with that one. Man. Yeah, they're charging already. Dude. Dude. Dude, look at them all, man. Dude, look at them all down there, man. Larry just marked a couple and we spot locked, and then all of a sudden there's like a lot more than a couple. Oh, dude, there's like five coming out my jig right now. Boom! Dude. Give me some, man. Double header. We got dialed. <laughs> we got dialed last minute. We got dialed in. Hey, that's a good one, fish. Yeah, back one. Freaking crazy fight. A little bit of a surface scrapper here. <laughs> yeah, yours is pretty. Pretty close to the same size as mine. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close to as big as mine. <laughs> uh -oh. We can go for mine after, I'm not really too worried about it. Okay. Here's your first draw.
getting dialed in last minute. <laughs> That's sweet. Look at them all. There's so many there still, dude. It should do okay. Boom! <laughs> Hooks out of the century, buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm dropping down the drop tine paddle tail on a little walleye jig. Double header, dude. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to shake that guy off and go back down. There she goes. Another one charging me down. Missed him. Dude, get back down there, man. What do you got on right now? There's that walleye jig and the paddle tail. Oh. <laughs> Look at them charging it. One's got to hit it. There's three chasing it. Three chasing it up. <laughs> Still three fish down there. <laughs> Dude. Insane, eh? That's just a frenzy. Like I said, it's so funny how you search all day and then you find it right at the end of the day. 